Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual. You guys know the deal. You know what we're here to do. We're here to put some respect on Michael Jordan, the 80s and the 90s. That's what it's all about on this channel. I always tell you guys that, right? It's not about hate. It's not about opinions, tearing players down with these false narratives and lies, right? It's about giving you guys the facts, right? And you guys form your opinion off the facts, right? Off the truth. You cannot form your opinion off of false narratives, off of lies, right? That's no way to form an educated opinion. So that's why we're here. That's why I'm here, guys, to hit you guys with the truth here. And I want to thank you guys as usual, man, for all your love. You guys get it. You guys know the deal. So much respect to everybody out there worldwide, everybody across the states. Much respect to all you guys for sharing your knowledge, for the comments, for liking my videos, for subscribing to my channel, guys. It means a lot. Thank you. And in this video, we're going to talk briefly about this LeBron James versus Michael Jordan debate and how it's never really been about basketball, right? It's not about basketball. It's about things that happen off the court, right? That's what they try to make this debate about. So we're going to talk about it in this video, guys. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys. Once again, when we think about this LeBron James versus Michael Jordan debate, and we're always saying that it's not a debate. It's not close, right? LeBron James is nowhere close to Michael Jordan, right? We all understand that, right? Most NBA fans, right? Most fans of basketball, they understand that LeBron James is nowhere close to Michael Jordan. If we're honest, right? If we're objective and we look at the facts. However, for, for some people, they still believe that LeBron James is greater <clears throat> than Michael Jordan. However, the thing about those people that believe that is anytime that you ask them to make an argument or you ask them to give you some kind of evidence, right, or to give you some kind of <laughs> information that would lead you to believe that LeBron James is greater than Michael Jordan, they can't do that. They cannot give you any information. They cannot give you any facts, right, because there's nothing factual that points to LeBron James being better than Michael Jordan in any aspect of basketball or LeBron James being greater, his career, overall career, just being greater, right? There's no evidence of it. Everything points to Michael Jordan, right, guys? <clears throat> Everything. So if that's the case and we understand that, then what does that leave them with? That leaves a LeBron James fan club with these narratives, right, that they like to bring up or lies. And what am I talking about? <laughs> well, the narratives are quite simply all the off-the-court stuff, right? Things that have nothing to do with the basketball. Nothing to do with the basketball game. The actual game on the court. They can't give you any argument or any factual evidence to support LeBron James being better at anything on the basketball court than Michael Jordan, right? Because the videotape doesn't say that, right? We look at shooting. LeBron James cannot shoot better than Michael Jordan. In no world, guys. In no world. I don't care what his shooting percentages say. We know why that is. LeBron James also has a, a better shooting percentage than Larry Bird. Are, are we going to believe that LeBron James is better shooting than Larry Bird? No, right? And he's not a better shooter than Michael Jordan. It's not even close, right? Not even close. Right? We think about LeBron James not having any kind of mid-range game. No consistent jump shot. Right, look at the free throw shooting from this man, right? Airballing all the time, the inconsistencies, right? Because he's not really working on his jump shot, and the evidence is there in the videotape. You guys need to shot at the end of the game. Who are you taking, Michael Jordan or LeBron James? Right, it's not even close, guys. Not even close. We think about something like dribbling the basketball, ball handling. It's not even close once again. Right, I've done videos on all this stuff, guys. Right, all these aspects. Defense, right? Not even close. Michael Jordan's a greater defensive player than LeBron James, right? Mostly just due to the effort that Michael Jordan consistently gave. 
LeBron James doesn't consistently give effort at a high level on the defensive end, right? We talked about this also, right? So we think about all these aspects, leadership, right? All these aspects, guys, of basketball. LeBron James is not better than Michael Jordan any of these things. When we think about, you know, the numbers, right? LeBron James fans like to point to numbers. But all the numbers point to Michael Jordan, right? All the per-game numbers, all the advanced metrics that these people like to use, right? I'm not a big numbers guy, but the numbers point to Michael Jordan. We think about the accolades, right? Same thing, the accolades, right? We've talked about this also. LeBron James, right? The bar is lowered for him, right? He doesn't have to accomplish as much as Michael Jordan did in his career to be seen as greater than Michael Jordan. He doesn't have to do that, right? The accolades are not there. He can't match Michael Jordan accolades, right? The winning, the winning is not there. He hasn't matched, Mike, matched Michael Jordan winning. But once again, the standard is lowered for LeBron James so he could be seen as greater than Michael Jordan without having to win as much as Michael Jordan, right? Losing way more than he's winning, right, guys? So, what does that mean? That means that the arguments have become, right, narrative-based, and they've become arguments based off of things that have nothing to do with the basketball game, right? They'll bring up LeBron James' charity work as to why he's greater than Michael Jordan, right? These are things you'll hear. They'll talk about all these nonsensical things. They'll talk about how much pressure LeBron James deals with, right? They try to bring that up as a reason, Right, they try to talk about all these things. They try to bring up social media and LeBron James playing in the social media age as you know a reason why he's greater than Michael Jordan. Right, it's harder for him to play in this era, in this age, with all the the criticism and all the people like me out there making YouTube videos and TikToks and Instagram posts and all this stuff. This is what they argue makes LeBron James greater than Michael Jordan on the basketball court. This is why we laugh at this stuff, guys, right? This is what they try to do. These nonsensical reasons. Because they can't come up with a good reason. Because there is no argument. There's no argument in the world, right? That you can give that shows or proves that LeBron James anywhere close to Michael Jordan, right? In the all-time rankings. There just is no argument. I told you, everything points in the opposite direction that LeBron James is nowhere close to Michael Jordan. That's what the numbers indicate, right? That's what the videotape shows us when we watch the game. So, because they can't make it about the actual facts, right? They try to make it about off-the-court stuff. What else do they do? What else do the LeBron James fans do during the Michael Jordan-LeBron James go debates? What they'll often do, and you'll hear this all the time, and this is why we make these videos, this is why we get aggravated is that they'll start lying and they'll start tearing down Michael Jordan, right, and his era. This is what the LeBron James fan clubs love to do. They love to do this. And only the LeBron James fan club does this. I've told you guys, I've never once, as a Michael Jordan fan, as a fan of basketball, ever felt the need to tear down Magic Johnson or Larry Bird or any of the other all-time greats, Kobe or Tim Duncan or Dr. J, or Bill Russell, or Will Chamberlain, any of these guys. I've never had to tear them down to speak about Michael Jordan or to illustrate and highlight why I believe Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. Because like I always tell you guys, Michael Jordan's resume, right, it stands on its own. His greatness, his legacy stands on its own. We have the video footage to watch. Right? We saw this. We watched it. That's why all these years later, when people try to lie and change up the narratives, right? They're trying to rewrite the history. We don't, we won't allow this. Right? Because we know it's not true. We know it's lies. Because we watched this stuff going up. But this is what they do now. They'll tear down the entire decade, the entire era of the 90s. As weak, watered down, right? These guys were plumbers and taxi cab drivers. They weren't that skilled, right? This is what you'll hear them say about Michael Jordan's era, right? Because they want to tear it down so they, they, they can explain 
right? When people say that Michael Jordan was 6-0 in the NBA Finals, their explanation for that is because he played against nobody, right? His competition was weak. You'll always hear that, right? Who did he play against? Michael Jordan didn't play against anybody. They'll say the same lines over and over again, right? To excuse LeBron James' losses, right? They'll make excuses for his losses, right? Oh, man, he wasn't the favorite. Oh, his teammates weren't that great. Oh, this guy was hurt, right? They always have an excuse, Michael Jordan never needed excuses when he was losing against the Detroit Pistons or the Boston Celtics. There were no excuses given, right? I told you they didn't blame Scottie Pippen in 89 or 1990 when they easily could have, right? They didn't blame Horace Grant or some of these other guys, Bill Cartwright, for not showing up and performing, leaving Michael Jordan out there by himself, essentially, right? There were no excuses made. Michael Jordan never pointed the finger at these guys when they didn't show up. Right, and he had to carry the burden. No, he took it on the chin like a man. That's the one thing LeBron James has never done. He's never taken it on the chin like a grown man. He's never taken the responsibility and put it on his back. He's never done that. Right, when things got hard, he pointed the finger. Or he ran away. Right, when the going gets tough, LeBron James gets going. He just leaves. He's out of there. He's proven it to us time and time again. So when they speak on this debate, they always must tear down Michael Jordan to lift LeBron James. That is not how you debate. That's not how we should be discussing this. You speak for LeBron James. He must stand on his own resume. Everything that he put out on the videotape that we have to judge him off of now, that's on him. Right? We have the videotape. That is on LeBron James. He put that out there. No one told him to play this way over the last 10 seasons and not give max effort and flop around and cry, right? And cheat the game, right? No one told him and made him do those things. He did that, right? That's how he wanted to go about his business. So if he's going to do those things, right, we must hold him to a standard, right? And we must call him out on these things, right? We must hold him accountable. And when we're talking about Michael Jordan versus LeBron James, if you're going to make that comparison, you must be honest. You must be truthful. And you should not have to tear down Michael Jordan's era because we can certainly tear down this era, this last 10 years, right, of a silly circus show of an NBA that we've been watching. We can easily say that this era that LeBron James has been playing in is not real basketball. This is not basketball. This is a joke, right? We can easily do that. But we don't have to do that to make an argument as to why Michael Jordan is far and ahead, way better than LeBron James, right? I don't have to clown this error to do that because once again, I told you guys, LeBron James' resume, all the stuff he put on the videotape, right, speaks for itself. And when you compare it to Michael Jordan, he doesn't hold up, right? He doesn't measure up to a Michael Jordan's career, to the legacy, to the greatness, just doesn't. Which is why, once again, I always tell you guys, he's asking us for respect. This is why he's asking us for respect. This is why he's saying, I don't cheat the game. I've never cheated the game. He's saying all these things now, right? Because he has a guilty conscience and he knows the real NBA fans, the true NBA fans, do not respect LeBron James and what he's been putting forth on the court over the last several seasons. It's been a joke. And the LeBron James versus Michael Jordan debate is a joke, right? It's never been about basketball. It's never been about the on-court play because all the numbers, all the accolades, the video footage, everything about basketball goes and points to Michael Jordan. There's nothing that points to LeBron James, right? There's nothing. There's no aspect of basketball that LeBron James is greater than Michael Jordan at. He's not better than Michael Jordan at anything, guys, at nothing. Not passing, no. Not rebounding, not shooting, not defense, not dribbling the ball, not leadership. Right? Not clutch play. Not winning. Not intangibles. Not heart. Not grit. None of this stuff. He doesn't stack up to a Michael Jordan. Not the competitive fire of a Michael Jordan. Right? He just doesn't have it, guys. Which is why this debate's always been about nonsense. Not basketball. It's about pressure and social media. All this nonsense. His charity work. The main thing we must remember when it comes to this charity nonsense, right, that they try to harp on LeBron James is a, is a great humanitarian, right? 
Michael Jordan does things because he believes it's right. He doesn't do it for the attention. Michael Jordan has done a lot of things, man. A lot of charity, a lot of stuff, a lot of philanthropic work off the court. The difference between a Michael Jordan and LeBron James is that Michael Jordan never seeks attention for these things. LeBron James wants and needs the attention for those things. He does those things for the attention, right? He can't just open up a school and, and it just be. He has to have open up a school and then he has to give a, a speech and all this stuff, all the news cameras there. It has to be a whole spectacle. That's LeBron James. Whereas Michael Jordan will donate to make a wish, right? He'll do all these things. No one hears about it. He'll build a hospital. No one talks about it or mentions it, right? He employs all these people as part of his businesses. No one talks about it because Michael Jordan does not seek attention for these things. He does them because he wants to do them. That's one of the major differences between them when it comes to off the court stuff that everybody has to harp on. Right? It's always on the media what LeBron James does, right? For the people, for charity, right? It's always it's always highlighted. And why is that? Because he wants you to know what he's doing out here. He doesn't just do things out of the kindness of his heart to be generous. He does it so that he can get recognized, so that people can pat him on the back and tell him what a great person he is, what a great humanitarian he is. But at the end of the day, none of that stuff means anything, right? In, a, in a, <laughs> the greatest basketball of all time, play of all time debate, none of that stuff means anything. And that's why we laugh at this debate. And that's where, they, that's where they've taken the debate. They've taken the debate off the court, right? And they've proceeded to just try to tear down Michael Jordan's era, right? As if it was nothing, right? Basketball just started over the last 10 seasons, that's when NBA really got good. That's what they want you to believe. Everything before 2010 means nothing. Means nothing. LeBron James' losses in the finals, they mean nothing. The video footage that he puts out of him standing with his hands on his hips, blowing on his hands, right? Not hustling back on defense, pointing at teammates, flopping around. None of that stuff means anything to these people. That doesn't matter in the GOAT debate, right? Him not having any respect. That doesn't mean anything to these guys. Because LeBron James fan club will always respect LeBron James and his shady ways and his nonsense, his antics, and his narcissistic attitude. You guys know the deal, man. It's all about the facts here. And the facts remain that this whole LeBron James versus Michael Jordan debate has never been about basketball. Because there is no basketball argument for LeBron James being anywhere close to Michael Jordan. There is no basketball argument. There is no argument. If you're honest and you're objective, you know there's no argument. You guys know the deal, man. You guys know the deal. I'll catch you on the next one.